Thank you for watching Not My Bag. If you're watching this, make sure to like and subscribe. If you're listening, give a five-star review on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Hi, guys, and welcome back to another episode of Not My Bag. I'm George. And I'm Joe. And as you can probably see... I wonder this, who we've got on today. This week's guest is an absolute legend. The Queen of Clean. If he hands to himself, he'd be nicer. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're being very touchy, Joe. Sorry, it's just these marigolds. They just make me like... Are you sure you're gay? <laughs> <laughs> I can guarantee you 100%. What are you, what are you touching people over the place for? You're legend, that's why. Keep your hands to yourself until you're asked, which you probably will be, but until that time. <laughs> George, are you loving this gay energy on this side today? No, it's iconic. It's really, really cool. You look lovely, by the way. Thank you. <laughs> See, she likes that. She likes that. He's George's single, so he's Very naughty. Of... Oh, you're single. Yeah. yeah. Are you a gay gentleman? No, no. Very much straight. Yeah, is that a bit of you? Yes, you need a ladder for me there, wouldn't you? <laughs> no, 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 I'm married. I've been married 43 years. Really? Oh, yes, I've got a very nice husband, actually. He's all right under gas, dear. Oh. Yeah, he's all right under gas. Yeah, yeah. Under gas. <laughs> <laughs> I like some of your, um, what do we call it, jewellery? Georgia call it drip. Well, I'll you? tell you something. My neighbour set calls me blingy. See, I don't see it, you know. Blingy. When I moved in, he's in the opposite house. He said, you know what, Kim, when I saw you nearly fainted, you were moving in. <laughs> He's not keep peeping through my window, you know, I have to keep the blinds shut. He doesn't tell his wife. Oh, <laughs> 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 you don't know. It's dreadful. You can't even wash your bosoms in private. <laughs> no. But he said to me, do you know, Kim, I call you Miss Blingy. I said, how so? He said, well, look at you. Do you know if I'd ever think of myself as being a blinger? No, it's not. I, like, I quite like it. It's nice and subtle, like. No, it's nice. It's bit it's subtle. Nice. Bit of bling, but... No, I like it. I love that. And you've got like a, what is that, like a fair? That's a fairy. Oh, one. yes, dear. We're from Essex. So and this is, th no, this is an elephant. They're very lucky elephants, you know. I love elephants. Oh, no. They bring you luck, you know. We need to get some elephants on the you set. Get some then, elephants, in the <laughs> elephants in the room. Elephants in the room. about my weight, if you don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> so, for those on, maybe on TikTok, for the younger generation that might not have seen him, but that's, to me, that's wild, because I feel like everyone knows who you are. You had a trending sound on TikTok recently, by the way. I had a what? Trending, so someone, <laughs> so basically a clip on TV, someone used the sound of it. Um, and I think it was from Big Brother, which we'll, which we'll get to, but you were great on there. My dear, I suffered. I know you did. But I got plenty of money. I know. <laughs> yeah. I had to get some luck, didn't Got the I? bag, got the bag. <laughs> no, I'm, just, no so I'm gonna be serious with you. I. I'm quite a tough cookie, but it was very unpleasant in there, you know. It looked, do you know what, it looked so you know, stressful. I'm not being funny, I'm a tough cookie, but they were a nasty bunch, dear. Mm. A, a lot of it as well seems like there was a, a lot of ganging up. They probably thought you, you were an older woman and they could get away with it. And oh, you didn't, no, have, you didn't take any you. shit, did you? Not, no, why should I do? No, no. I know, it's, it's amazing. You, you gave them... But you know what, I've, I, do you know what, I'm one of these people, if I've got something to say to you... I, you know, if I, you annoyed me, which you annoy, looking at you annoys me, but so I'll we'll get, get to that later. <laughs> Keep with the hands, move the hands. I'm doing them, I'm doing them. Keep along here, you know, I've rocked my nickel like any minute now. Do you now. know what, these make my hands sweat. I don't know how you did this all day. I'm gonna I know, I make, I, I make men sweat, you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, I'm one of these people, I was in a temper throughout the entire show. Why I was in a temper was, I can't stand people that gang up on people. Mm. I've always been a person, from when I was a little tot, if I got something to say to you, I'll come up and say it to you. When I used to be at school and you see six or seven, I think, oh, you bastards. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 cowardice. Yeah, and that yeah. was annoying me terribly. Like pack mentality, isn't oh, it? Oh, but that's cowardice too, yeah, isn't yeah. it? It's no, cowardice. I know. Um, so you so you started, so how most, like obviously how my mum knows and, and adores you is from How Clean Is Your House, mm -hmm. which started you, started you off, didn't it? It started, yeah. Do you know what? I was 61. And I was in a, living in a big mansion next door to Winston Churchill's house, Gorgeous. believe it or not. Wow. Chartwell. Oh, yes. He was dead. I couldn't wave. He was dead. He'd been dead years. No. <laughs> but, um, and I was in this big mansion cleaning. It was lovely. And I got a phone call one day from the, the lady who, who placed me in the job, you see. And she said, a television company have called up. They're looking to do a cleaning show. She said, oh, should I thought of you right away. She said, would you have a word with them? I said, well, I'm 60. Well, give me a job on touch. She said, no, don't be silly. Long story short, I got a phone call from this lady called Victoria Coker. I'll never forget. And she said, we want to do a show. She said, and uh, your agent says you're a marvellous cleaner. Cleaning it. She said, yeah. so thank you. <laughs> they took me down to London with the days. I was camera on the table and asked me all sorts of questions. Mm. 
And everybody's roaring. I said, well, I don't know what you're roaring at, dear. What, what's, what's so funny, cleaning the box? <laughs> she said, oh, Kim, you are funny. I said, well, you'd have to be to clean the box. I mean, you'd never survive it. Like, would you? The dirty underpants. <laughs> <laughs> the woman of my class. You've always been the same. You've always been. Well, you'd have to laugh at things or you'd die. Well, you never tried washing some of these men's underpants. Oh, yeah. I don't wish to go into that. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's not nice. Yeah. Oh, it's no, dirty. you all know you two now. <laughs> how, <laughs> more him than me. Yeah. No, how do you know? Oh, I mean, there's dirty so undies around my house all the time. I went down and I, I came back home. And I got a phone call about a week just saying, Kim, we'd love you to do the series. They said, would you do eight half-hour shows? Well, the thing was, this was in the February of 2003. Well, the guy I worked for, he only came over to stay for seven weeks in August. The right. house was empty. Right, okay. Yeah. He could brought his whole entourage Oh, nice man. And so I could clean the mansion and I, I said, well, I can get out. Well, I did the series and you know something, my loves, honestly, it was a hit. Yeah, it was. And, you know how I thought, and the first series and the, 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 the ratings all over the newspapers. Mm. Oh, great, 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 that. And I thought, what? Yeah. And then, of course, they're paying me good money. I might have got more later. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I stung them good, love. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but and then she said, we'll do a second series. And, a third, and this went yeah. on until 2009. And suddenly, within six months, I was famous. Don't forget, you're 61. Mm. Yeah, yeah. You know, and suddenly, hello, Kim. Oh, it's me. Uh, going to going to places, signing autographs, opening shops, mm. this, that, and the other. We just hit it big, I Yeah, I? and mm. the longevity of it as well. Like the fact that I was still, you know, editing your a picture of me and mum as you in 2020. Do you know what I mean? It's but just what's so huge. lovely is, and what I'm very pleased about, and I'm ever so grateful, you know, don't think I'm not. I love the way people like you and you, youngsters, come up and say, oh, that show was good. And I think, what? Because... Your mum showed it to you. Yeah, and, yeah. and you kids loved it. I thought, why would kids love this show? Yeah. But to this day, and I mean, this is now 19 years later, mm. people say, loved your show. And kids have got about 20 in the supermarket and say, I loved your show. And yeah, yeah. I thought, what? And I'm so proud of that. You yeah, know? of course. Because when I got the job, I said to the producer, and I looked, I said, how do you want me to play this? I said, because, you know, we, they said, have you got a filthy house? We'll send you a camera, take photographs and, and dispose mm. and send them back. So, okay. And of course, people were bringing these, all these houses stunk. Ooh, ooh. Oh, love. Oh, oh I dear. bet. I'd rather sniff a camel's armpit, dear. I'm not being funny. No. <laughs> We'd rather sniff his bum if I tell the truth. Now, and of course, I said to Stephanie, the producer, I said, look, Stephanie, I said, I can't go in these houses being rude. Mm. I said, after all, they're giving us the houses. I said, and I know they're filthy beggars. I said, but you can't. You Someone know, lives in there, like. You know, fair dues. <laughs> exactly. I yeah. said, can I camp it up a bit? She said, well, give us all. So, anyway, I said, yeah, watch. So, I took this woman. The first one I went to was in, um, she had a farm. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, please <laughs> say nothing. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I walked in and I thought, Oh, because no. the smell, I mean, you you would walk in and you go, farm oh, smell not, anyway, didn't they? And she'd say, I can't smell a thing. I say, flame and not. But they didn't smell it. They li they lived in it. What's yeah. that saying? It's like when you're in shit for long enough, I know. you no, don't smell it anymore. No, that's like, that's like a saying for like. Well, that's true. And yeah. the bed sheets. Oh no. oh, no. None of that. That was that was my worst thing. Oh. And I'd strip the bed sheet back. Mm. Oh, oh. No mattress protector, I'm assuming. Literally. And stained with all sorts of... I'm not going into it. We all know what's... But it's just like general hygiene, isn't it? I know, but like some you, people... You walk the toilets. You saw the toilets. Oh. Up to their feces. Oh. The seats covered in dried... And they're sitting on there. Well, that's not even the farm with the animals. That's the house. Oh, yes. Oh. <laughs> yes, the animals live cleaner. I'd have slept with a horse. Right there. And, and, and she was there. And I said, my love, I said, I'm not being funny. I said, oh, no, I wouldn't. Would I be funny? I said, I can how could you live in this? She said, well, what's wrong with this? I said, oh no. My lover said, I don't know how to break the news. I said, but a bit stinky. She said, is it? I thought. <gasps> maybe it's because no one tells these people. I feel like some people are so polite. It's like very British to be so polite that maybe their friends and stuff are just like, oh, this is fine. But I mean, it's That's not. why I think you were good for it because these you're so forward. These couldn't have been dirtier. I mean, you used to walk out with dog feet. She's handed off your heels. Oh, oh. no, absolutely not. And it not. turned white because it had been there for years. Oh. And you'd, you'd be picking, oh God. But you couldn't, didn't have to be frightened of filth. Mm. I mean, I'd go right down those toilets. It, I thought, no, if I'm going to be Nesh, it's not going to be entertaining, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you've See, got to go him. And I said to Stephanie, now listen, Stephanie, I said, it's going to make me sick to do it. I said, but I said, I'll be honest with you. If I walked to a toilet and said, did you see them? And I'd say, 
dirty. I say people think. But I said, if I get stuck in and stuff, put my finger around the brim, and it was full of feces and bum airs and everything. And you've done like, and I knew if I offered to the camera, she's gonna do it. So (laughs) she she puts her fingernails down there, and and I'd go, and the camera would zoom in and hairs and bum. (laughs) Oh God! But but that's why you watched it. Because if I hadn't done that, you'd have said, well, she's only going up saying it's dirty. I get stuck in all the stink. The stink was awful. But you know what? I'll tell you something. I was proud to have the job. Yeah. Honestly, serious note, 61, made famous, a few bob in the bag, I never had money in my life, love. Yeah, yeah. And suddenly it came in. And this is now 19 years later. And the fame, I mean, I haven't done a series. It's finished in 2009. Yeah. It was sold to 30 countries. So it's wow. all over the world. Yeah, I, mean, yeah. I go any country, I go on holiday and say, hello, Kim. And I think, oh, bloody hell, you know. <laughs> so I'm terribly proud. Yeah, and, of course. Um, of course, I was sad when it finished, but lovely to have six years oh, yeah, of a absolutely. show that's famous to this day yeah. and nobody forgets. And um, and you really put you I onto made, other and things. I made a few pop. Yeah, and, and then it brought you to like the likes of the celeb reality shows, didn't it? Which oh, is absolutely. obviously where a lot of iconic phrases and things like that come about. Obviously, I years and years ago, like calling my mates chicken liver shits because of you. Um, and but you see, I'm going to tell you something. I was in so bad temper throughout the entire show. I was in a state I could have killed you. you know? Yeah. I when people said you said chicken liver shit, I said where did I, I thought where did I get that from? Yeah, because it's so I didn't, funny. I didn't. You just it was words. I was angry. Yeah, you know, you're yeah. so angry. Anything will come up, but it is. You are so souls. Funny. You you rat bags. You you know. <laughs> and I was so you know I was so. The, the thing is, I think in that environment, in, in Celeb Big Brother, for, for those that didn't obviously watch the series, when Kim was on Celeb Big Brother, there was obviously a group of celebs that were, were ganging up. And, you know, as you said, you were probably on edge the entire time. What well, you were. You and, were. Then, and obviously and so you then, had to go to sleep with them people there was, and have breakfast exactly, with them. Exactly. You were just with them the entire time. You've got to sleep in the same room, all of that stuff. And I remember there was a clip where I think it was Nicola and you said, and she, you said her name, you said Nicole. And then she went, Nicola. And you just went, so like, but you know what's so funny? Up. You know what's so funny about that? When that program finished, mm. she went on a show, a talk show, and they said, "Hello, Nicole." She said, "Nicola." So I wasn't <laughs> being funny, but Nicola, Nicola. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so, it's easily done. Easy. Do you know what I mean? But that's what I mean. But when, if you want to take offence, you'll take it. Yeah. My God, she wanted to. Oh yeah, yeah, no, I know. But that was that was like a legendary series. But all these things I said: chicken livered shits and adulterer. And you see, there's nothing I want to clear up. I don't think, honestly, I tell the truth, mm-hmm. I would have called him, he was an adulterer, but don't think I'd have gone that far. Is that, you, is that Jamie O'Hara? Oh, that piece of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But I'll tell you why I did it. I was chatting to the girls at the end, all ganging in, in a circle, and that thing <laughs> jumped out of his bed. Now, nothing to do with him. I remember seeing that I clip. Know, I, I remember know, yeah. it wasn't anything to do with and him. And I said, you big girls, uh, blouse, you went, interfering in women's arguments. Mm. You went, you've just jumped out of bed. And and he turned yeah. around and said... You're not decent. I said, I'm not decent. <laughs> I'm not. Be- You're a married man with three kids, two time with your wife, and I'm not a decent, you adulterer. <laughs> but he has already accused me of being, I wasn't yeah, decent. Yeah, I thought, yeah, yeah. I'm not decent. It was unwarranted. He just jumped up to get, as you said, it was he like was a gold a argument. And... disgusting, vile person. Yeah, yeah. And I'll say something to you now. You can fall out with your wife or husband. Divorce is happening. We, we can't stop that. Mm. But you don't leave three little babies under five or six hmm. and take live with a girlfriend and never see your children and don't supply the and money. Then say oh, come on. I, but I don't think I'd have said it if he hadn't said you're not us. Ah, ah, excuse me, I'm not decent. Yeah. I just whoa, went but for But sometimes him. you see red and it's bound to happen, and especially in a stressful environment like you were in. Do you know what I mean? It's easy to. How up, did like. Uh, so how, how, oh, on, sorry. No, no. I was going to say, you know, I'm wound up. I yeah, get. yeah. I was That'd just be terrible. Say, how did um, like Celeb Big Brother come about? Like, Well, my agent, Craig. Um, Hello, Craig. He <laughs> ran. Um, he's not, he's not, not bad, you know. I keep him in his place. Oh, he's lovely. Yes. He's a terrible flirt with me. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You know, he's gay and he wants to bed me. I said, no, dear, no. I thought, I thought that I'm was the case. I'm not having it, dear. <laughs> no, I'm not having it, dear. But we'll go. We'll discuss that later. Stop doing that to yourself. <laughs> They're going to go blind. Put it away, I've Craig. I warned you about this. <laughs> Stop it. Zip it up. <laughs> Buses, trains, he's not bothered. He's not bothered. And me famous and, and very posh. No, <laughs> no, Craig rang me and he, you know, because he's been my agent for years. And he said, um, Kim, do you want to go in Big Brother? He said, and I said, because uh, it started, you say, mm. been on 
what, two, about 14, 15, 14 days or something. So I said, he said, well, he said, uh, he said, no, they've asked, will you go in? So I said, well, I don't know. He said, um, I said, how much? Well, mm. I mean, look, lovey, I don't work for nothing. You know, when you yeah, I mean, yeah. I, come on, I'm, I'm 80 now, yeah. lovey. I worked since I was 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't work, you you know, I'm not being There's, funny. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and when, you know, so I said, how much? He told me. I said, I, I, I said, how much? Yeah, yeah. I said, God, yes. I said, yes, with bells on. <laughs> incredible money. Yeah. I mean, incredible, uh, ridiculous money. Mm. So anyway, in I went. But you see, <laughs> when I was on the Phil show, now, I, I've got... I, I, I'm quite delicate. I don't want to be, but I've got to tell you this: not terribly fond of Phil and Holly. I, I'm being honest with you because mm. they've got jobs they shouldn't have. Well, we, we were going to bring that up because obviously I saw the interview. That they've had them far there. too long. Can, can I ask yeah. your question? Your question. Can I ask and he's you? and the trouble is when you have two presenters on a top show in the morning, mm. some can handle it. Mm. Um, but you, those two, are, their heads are as big as, 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 as Birkenhead, dear. And I'm afraid they think they can talk to people. Well, she doesn't. She just goes, ah, Phil. Ah, I did Phil. see that. that um, with and, the first you know, he was very you. impudent, I thought. Mm. And I won't stand for it. I mean, when he said to me, what? well, when he said, um, why did you go in there then? For the money, what the hell mm. do you think I went in for? Yeah. And he's just so, and another thing. He wasn't in that Big Brother house. I lived in there. Uh, so, yeah, I remember you saying that to him. I said, but you weren't there, You said it Philip. to him. You try and do it, but I remember you, you saying that. And, not and he was there. trying to tell you how mm. you should have reacted and something. You said to him, yeah. you but, but, he, but he's just an unbearable little pipsqueak. He shouldn't even have his job, nor should Holly, but we're not going to that. And they definitely, anybody listening to me, whatever they say in the papers, I will tell you the truth. They were not, were not... Asked to cover the Queen's funeral. They uh, sneaked in and they put these darn imitation uh, press things they got. So they look as they, they, they sneaked in because they wouldn't stand in a queue. They're far too high and mighty. It is true. Mm. I'm, don't listen to another word they say. They were not contracted. They were not allowed to film. Nobody was. So they did sneak in. And so that, so they should have lost their job because there's many a person uh, standing there with people in wheelchairs. David Beckham as well waited in the queue. Hey, yeah, David yeah. and many famous people. Mm. And so Susanna Reid, her mother was in a wheelchair yep. and she stood with her mother for six mm. hours. And I think that's a lovely girl. Mm. Yeah, and yeah. I think, but when those two think we're so high and mighty, we can sneak in and people in wheelchairs, I'm disgusted. It's very with And that you yeah. did it, you two. Get you, I don't want to look at you, you make me sick. <laughs> uh, do you know what though? That was the question I was going to ask you. I was going to ask you about what you thought of that. So we've got that out of the way. And well, I don't like anybody that's famous thinking they can, I would never sneak in anywhere. I, if I can't stand and do what you're doing, I'm not mm. going to do it well, at it's, all. It's mm. like, it's what that, do you think it's borderline you entitlement, especially with something as big as the Queen's death. It's like, oh, you know what I mean? On, it's man, something that him. you can't Did you see the poor souls that. outside freezing cold? Yeah, you can't yeah. sit yeah. old ladies that. and yeah. he's with these phony things around his yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. No. Because um, I also, because you went, so you had that debrief um, after Big Brother on this morning, and then you went back on um, for one of my personal favourite TV moments, talking about, darling. it was the debate about they calling someone darling, wasn't it? With the lady, I don't know the lady's name. I mean, she was quite silly anyway. Do you remember? And it was like, um, I've had so many arguments. No, no. Know. And it was with Phil I'm and, always was, someone like, I, I think it was Phil and Holly, wasn't it? And yeah. it was a debate yeah. that was said. That this, oh, she had hairs about, under about arms. About <laughs> now, now, I'm going now, look. <laughs> Funny enough, I discussed with Craig today, my agent. We probably, now look, if people don't understand me, I don't care. Yeah. I know me, yes. yes, and I know I'm fair, and I'm a, I'm a very kind person. Mm -hmm. But don't give me bollocks. I don't want it. Yeah. I don't want too bad AC. Yeah, yeah. Now, this is the whole thing. If you if a lady doesn't want to shave under her arms, that isn't my business. It's not your bit. Not anybody's bloody mm. business. Yes, yeah, yeah. But do not thrust a hairy armpit on my. <laughs> now, now stop it. You saw the program. Now I you did. saw it. Now all right. <laughs> She's there now. It's a cold day, and I don't feel the cold. And it was chilly. She had a short sleeve thing on here and black hairs, black big black moundies. And I'm sitting here, and and she's got her arm up here, and I'm getting a view of. Now, are you telling me this arm is tucked away 
to camera, she's like that. Mm. Now, please, don't insult me. Don't insult my ears. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. I said, you want to shave under your eyes, you do it. But <laughs> if you, no, but well, do you think it's necessary to sit with your arm like no, that? No, I get it. I think you didn't know the she arm. She was letting someone, I don't shave, I don't. Well, don't, do it on your own programme, not mine. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then she was trying How long were her pubes, dear? Um, yeah, and also speaking of shows, what I wanted to speak about, because I know we've touched on Big Brother. Um, Another show that you did, which is it's such a minor thing, but I love, was that Come Dine With Me. Oh, please. <laughs> you had me in tears. You look, were so funny Can I that. tell you something? I'm, this is absolutely, my agent will confirm this. <laughs> Do you know, I'm not a great drinker, you know. No, well, I give this image of gin. Yeah. I, I, my house in the week, I must have probably in the seven day, four double gins in seven days, because I have it in the fridge. Mm. I'm not a great drinker, you yeah, know. Yeah. But I give this image for fun. I'm saying, Oh, you were hysterical really, when honestly. you picked but up no, that bottle. Me, oh, no, fair do. Matt, I met Claire recently. <laughs> I met Claire Sweeney recently. She does. Yeah. She looks lovely. Oh, she she looks beautiful, you know. Um, I was doing a, a, going to a panto and uh, Claire said, how are you doing, Kim? She did not look gorgeous. I'm oh. not kidding you. Yeah. She looked beautiful. She's very talented, you know. Yeah. Sings, dance. I mean, the girl's a talent. And she said, do you remember that night? I said, don't you talk to talk about that night? She, I said, you little... <laughs> Bugger you. <laughs> and she went to me. I said, oh, Claire. See, I didn't know she was doing this. I said, Claire, you could put me in the hussy. Mm. What was it? You, you, you must, I didn't see it, you see, but you must have seen it. She poured me this and I'm drinking it. Mm. And, 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 you know, Big measure. she used to have another drink. But the thing was, behind the scenes, I believe, she was coming over with a full bottle. Right. Just going, pouring. Yeah, yeah, to, yeah top But it was vodka. It, it, oh. In me what? And I thought, this is strong wine, this, you know, by Jove. Wait, in the wine? Oh, yeah. Oh. And she was like, oh, oh. what name she has to be after? Oh, she was, and of course I'm, I thought, well, she, no, she's only the wine. Do you, do you know what? I couldn't see at the end of the night. I'm sorry, I vodka. I couldn't even make the hotel bed. I've only had one vodka and wine night and that was, it's game no, well, over. She was topping me up, but I didn't see. And I thought, this, this I can't be, she, oh, go on. Do you know what? I was so drunk. When I have never been that drunk home. in my life. I, <laughs> when they did the cab ride home. I nearly wet myself. That was, oh! You were in the cabin. You were talking about the food. And it was the funniest thing because... I, I didn't know what I was saying. I can't <laughs> even remember. I don't know what I said. Oh, it was so amazing. I know what you mean. Like, incredible telly. But I'm sure you woke up the next day and was like, what was that? Do oh, you know do you know what? I fell on the stairs in the hotel. And it was on the... It was the stairs which just outside my bedroom. Right. Well, nobody passed. I slay on the bloody stairs most of the night. I woke up me stress squashed on the carpet. And I thought, I'm not well. I thought... And my stomach was doing the rumble. Oh. And I said, what was I drinking? But you see... No, seriously... I said to Claire, you were shocked. She went, Pfft. I said, oh, Claire. <laughs> she knew what she was doing, but, but you know Claire. What? Do you know what? She gave you good tally at my expense, so I forgive you, Claire. Yeah, yeah. Bag. It was we hilarious. always said to mum, didn't we? Oh, we always please, embarrassed mum and she please. goes, you know what, at least you got something good at my expense, didn't she? She always says that. And then, I don't know if it was around the same time, but you did um, I'm a Celeb as well, didn't you? That was, was an I'm a Celeb. How many years ago were you on I'm a Celeb? 2009. 2009. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep. Bloody hell. And how was that? Well, do you know what? Um, I I was glad I did it, and I'll tell you why. Because once it wasn't as fat a check as the house, but it was still a fat check when you yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. But you know something? To be flown into the jungle mm. and dropped in, and to see life in the jungle, and that's not that pleasant. It's a bit mucky and horrible. Mm. But you know, I think I was very privileged, you know, and it made me appreciate a bath and a proper tour. Yes, because, yeah, you know, yeah. And I, 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 as I say, I was runner up in that, and. Um, well, I'm not sorry I did it. Yeah, they weren't yeah. a bad bunch, you know. They, they weren't, weren't as bad, a bad as the Big Brother bunch. lot, were they? No, no. And you had Katie Price in there as well. Oh, Katie you, was you got on with her quite yeah. well, didn't you? Well, I've worked with Katie two or three times, you know. Yes. And she's always been very polite. I think mm. she respects them older. Yeah. I've worked with her two or three times. She's never mm. said a word out of place. I know yeah. Katie's got her problems, but bless her yeah. for the grace of God. She seems lovely. Like she's. I worked with her three times, and she's never been impolite. And I've chatted to her. Yeah. And uh, I can't say anything wrong about the girl. Yeah. She's and got I'll, problems, but we all. George has been to a boxing match, didn't you? And she was there. Yeah, yeah, um, I saw her recently. But I just wanted to touch on, because you did a really, really funny trial um, with Katie, the eating one. Well, fancy cutting that ball open. The, the, that honestly... The vending right. machine. And the, the, the gagging was the funniest oh thing when you were God, eating the fish eye and stuff. Well, like. Have you ever tried one? No, <laughs> no, no, I don't See, blame what you. what she did was, she, <laughs> Katie, I said, you do have to cut that thing open. Oh. They put two testicles in fur... One on each plate, you see. And they said, 
you can use a knife and fork. They give us plastic, they said, because we know they're hard. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right. So what she did was, I thought, you know, she said, and yours is next. I said, okay, so you go first. Well, what case did what? She took the plastic knife and she cut the, and she pulled the fur off it and this ball dropped out, this white ball mm. with veins all over it, veins Ooh. and blood. And I thought, mm. <laughs> now, that, then, then, then I've got mine to do. I thought, did you have to do that? She said, oh, I'm not, I can't do that. She said, I can't do that. I said, well, you've got to open it. Now, you know, you're showing me, what well, I've got to do it. She said, well, I'm not doing it. I said, well, thanks very much. So I cut mine and all the... T- oh, God. All the f- and I, I did, I I did that. And I, I said, why did you have to cut it and show me what I'm eating? And then, of course, the fish's eye. It must have been Moby Dick. Oh. It was a sp- <laughs> <laughs> No, it wasn't a goldfish. It was, yeah, that, no, it was huge. And it had, it had all the entrails, six hanging out the back with blood on them. And you had to swallow a lot and you were chewing it. It was like... <laughs> And as you put your tooth in, all the blood squares over your mouth. What would ma- you say? What did it taste? Did it taste like exactly how you think a fish eye would be? Horrible. It, it, all, it tastes like, um, um, oh. Oh, don't. Uh, it tastes I'll, like a piece of fish that had gone rotten for a year. Oh. And you go, uh, you know, and then you can feel it scrunching down on the veins. And that, oh. It's knowing it, you see. It's, oh. Yeah, that's the thing. Do you know what, though? I, I loved on it's a celeb here up, right, actually. back then, in 2009, like them years, because there wasn't massive sets and stuff. You just turned up. There was a little vending machine. Ant and Deck were there. I went to you just stood by this. a table and you just ate it. Yeah, because we yeah. had Jake Quickenden on, um, uh, who was on I'm Celeb as well. And he said that when you're in the camp, you can't see a crew or anything. Is that right? There's well, you like, can't see a thing. You can't see any, anyone. We see nothing. You can't see a camera. Mm. Right. Where right. the hell they are, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And so I just cut off to it anyway because I can't see it. Mm. You know, Jake's quite right. You don't see anything at all. Yeah. Mm. yeah they pick up everything, don't they? Yeah. But they do. you don't, you think, where is it? You know. Is there anyone in anything. the jungle that you didn't, was there anyone that you didn't really. You did have a disagreement I saw with. Oh, with the late, um, Jason. Was it the boxer? Uh, oh, well, now look here. <laughs> No, no, I, I, I saw the clip. And See, Joan again, Bogner was a nice enough champion. Yeah, yeah. It was just, you know, you when I was a little girl, he was world heavyweight champion. Mm. Did yeah. you know that? I that didn't. Was, I, didn't know. I, knew, I knew he was a world champion. He was champion. the world heavyweight boxing champion when I was a kid. Mm. Oh, tough man. Mm. He'd gone to live in Australia for 20 years with his missus retired. But would you believe it? Joe was very meek. Really? When he was lying in his bunk at night, he said, Flies, I can't. I said, I can't oh. World heavyweight flies. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but he was not a bad chap. No, to, yeah. again, he you were just sticking up bad. for someone. He wasn't bad. I, I can't remember yeah. who he went up and to. And he said, but... why don't you get out? Don't you tell me to get out, you bloody arse. Yeah. <laughs> no, but no, but I didn't. There was no. The person I fell out with didn't like him at all. Now, Justin um, and Colin. Right. Now, you see, this is what, now, honestly, for anyone watching this, I'm going to clear this up because they don't know. Clear it up. The floor is yours. Now, I would never, we've all got something wrong with us, haven't we, physically? Yeah. Well, we do have. I'm blind in one eye, but you know what I'm saying? Now, but so lot of physical things shows, doesn't it? Yeah. But I would never say to you, oh, I don't like that boiler. I don't like that lot. I would never say it, see. Mm. I don't, would you? There's no, George with his micro penis. I just, you know, but you never talk about with it. With Justin, I'd, I'd met him in Canada. I was doing a series out there called Kim's Druid Awakening. Mm. And he and the other guy were filming. And he kept, I, I had my breast taken. Oh, I had huge knockers, you know. I fell over, I'd struck oil, honestly. No, to be fair, I was watching you and I was swab and I thought, they are huge. <laughs> oh, you know what, no, you, you, no, they she were was real. Wearing this, no, no, she they was were wearing real. This, Joe, Kim was wearing this blue top and I thought, that's about to knock someone out. <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I'm a big woman. I was born with huge knockers mm. and I didn't, I never liked them. Right. I mean, I never liked them. I mean, bitch, oh boy. So they were, I couldn't get, oh, they were horrible. And I knew, I, I thought, I always top heavy. Blouses to get you or a suit. I had to have a jacket twice the size of the right. skirt. Okay. And I was sick of it. But when I went in the jungle, I thought, I'd, I'd known him in, I'd known him in Canada. He was, he was always picking people's physical faults out. And I thought, okay. rude man, mm. rude man. He said to one young man, cameraman, What's that mark on your head? Oh. Is it a birth? I thought, oh, Christ. Oh, no, you can't do that. Oh, yes, he thought you he could. You can't do that. So, you see, what happened was, he kept going on at me in the jungle. Oh, my God, these, oh, these, these, you know. And of course, really? I said, oh, yeah. And um, he said, oh, my God, how'd you walk around with them? And I thought, there is, I, I thought he'd pick a physical thing out. Because yeah, he didn't yeah. with everybody. Mm, mm. I thought, right, I'll have you. <laughs> I'll have you. So, Nice looking man, and certainly always kept himself very smart, you know. And, uh, you know, and he, he always dyed his hair blonde. He suited, actually, I thought. 
But he had nothing. It didn't take away from his looks. But I had to think of something, didn't I? <laughs> and he had a little <laughs> tiny wart there. Baby, nothing of no. Yeah, yeah. There and one there. Yeah. And I thought, I'm going to have you. Mm. I'm having you. Got my, I'm pulling up my bras, dear. Excuse me, my straps. Mm. Do you want to give us a hand? No. no. I, I can do it. Oh, spot, spot. No. <laughs> <laughs> but no, but no. So I walked up to Justin in front of everybody, like you've been doing this to me. Oh, how do you with this? Yeah. So I um, said, do you know, I said, you surprised me. He said, how so? I said, well, I said, you're a young man, keeps yourself nice, I said, and smart. I said, why have you got these three things on your face? Oh, <laughs> no. Well, did he not deserve it? No, oh, no, agree. So he said, I beg your pardon. I said, these, are they warty things? Oh. I said, because with a man with your appearance, you could easily get the whips off at a hospital, which you could have, actually. Yeah, yeah. Mm. He said, what, aren't you saying that to me? Mm. I said, what do you keep on about my knockers? But it's always them that love to give it. Oh, the, I know. The moment they take it. So, and, he, and up walked the dark edge. I was quieter than him. And he said, well, when I met him, he had those. I said, well, he had them a long time, but I've seen them. He said, can't tell me them off. He said, well, I like them. I said, well, there's no account for taste, love. I mean, I'm, no, no, no but, but I had to do something, didn't I? No, it's fair well, enough. Come on. I was past the lung, man. Yeah. Well, do you know what? I come up from washing some clothes at the thing, and I come up the steps a few days later, and I hear him. And she said, and I can't get over it. So you know what he said? I walked up, and I walked up to him and said, if you can't take it, don't hand it out, my yeah, love. Yeah, yeah. It's and that's exactly why, more. that's why I did it. I, I couldn't agree more. Done it. Don't be silly. But this is, this is, I feel like, with you, with everything, Big Brother, I'm a celeb, like... The You're pe- matching you, the energy. Yeah, people want to give it to you. So you just give it back, maybe and a little bit more sometimes. They, they can't handle it. handle it. But they yeah. can't, yeah, they can't handle but it. The, but, but then don't do it. And George, exactly. You know what? Whenever George and I argue, George will, like brotherly arguments, George will be like, I'm just matching your energy. Like if I get annoyed and then he matches it, I get annoyed. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And that's how it starts. But if someone's ganging up on you or someone's saying something to you and you match it, that's on them. But why yeah. is it the people that will do it can never take it. And it's always that it's project Ooh. I find it projection of insecurity. As I've grown up, I sometimes have to take a step back rather than arguing back now because I think that is something so deep rooted in them, they have to get it out to yeah, you. But, but, but it's hard to but take surely it. Surely human isn't it? being knows. Mm. But if they've got a habit, mm. like Justin has, like he'd say to you, did you know that you want, you know, that uh, he picked something out, there's something wrong with you. Go and do it if you want. Uh, no, 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 you're very handsome, actually. Oh, so are you, actually. Thank no, you. No. Um, but if I, suppose you had a big boil on your neck, yeah. I'd poor bugger, I, I, I bet he hopes that. I would say, oh, look at that, but I pretend I couldn't yeah, see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. But Justin oh, but, would yeah. say, oh, have you seen that? Yeah. And he can't take it. And yeah. that's what annoys me about human beings. Mm, yeah, yeah. No, I they, couldn't agree more. They can't take it Stuff like that is personal. Do you know what I mean? There's there is nothing no worse. You don't get personal. You know when you get like, I sometimes get styes if I'm stressed or like cold yeah, sores. And the worst do. thing that someone can say to me is like, oh, you look oh, rough. Your lip's awful, isn't it? Yeah. With a cold sore. I don't even want to leave the house at that point. Do you know what I mean? But you see, I, I, you saw that was a cold sore. You saw it was a sty. Mm. That's an illness you've got. I wouldn't say... Oh, what well, you would as a brother, but mm. I wouldn't say a word. Yeah. But if someone says to you, oh, look at that, and then you say, what about your warts? Oh, yeah, yeah. see, I don't understand yeah, that. Yeah. I don't yeah, get don't that. Don't say yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. I agree. I, know what you mean. I couldn't agree more. Well, one thing we also wanted to... He did to... push me towards, though. I thought, they are big knockers. <laughs> <laughs> I thought, you know, fella, I mean, they were... It's, it's oh, all no. right of being self-aware, yeah, though. Yeah, but they were... But I wasn't happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So I went in the May. I come out in the... No, I went in the May and got them reduced. Oh, did you? Our mum's had three boob jobs, two or three. What reduced? She's had. She she went. She she went bigger. She had kids. Oh, she, went oh, bigger, she wanted to be firm. And yeah. dad was like, dad said, oh, I wanted massive, didn't he? Yeah. So I wanted they were like an E or something. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. And then so, after having us so many years and having kids, she then was like, these are too big, so she had them reduced. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and now she likes it. She does not fitness, so she likes having oh, them. She liked but them they much. were. Giant, they were, yeah. she used to whip them out of the table. I thought the but table was going to But at the time, she wanted that, you know. Exactly. But I was, I was, that was what I was like. Yeah. So I had them reduced, yeah. and I've been very happy. Yeah. And so I suppose I wasn't happy with them anyway. It wasn't because sure. of him. Yeah. But yeah, I yeah. Kim oh, but there's no need to bring it up. Why did he do it? There's yeah. no need to bring it up. Regardless of value. At the time, I was uh, 68. Why would you do it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. See, you, especially you wouldn't, would you? Yeah, but yeah. Didn't think Maybe twice. he was just hungry and hallucinating and thought, I need to bring something up in no, the jungle. No, but he does it with everybody. He does it with everyone. No, he does it with Well, everybody. speaking of like celebs, we wanted to also ask you, because you've I've watched loads of clips, you've, you've met a ton of people who 
is like the the nice people you've worked with, the you know the people that you're like, oh, I'm not sure because I know you. I saw a really funny clip of you and Gordon Ramsay, and he was <laughs> and he was cooking. Oh, but Gordon's Gordon, <laughs> and you, you know, was, Gordon Ramsay's an act. Gordon's making his money. Jolly good luck to him. And you came <laughs> up and you was hugging him or something, and he was trying to cook and he was really giggling. That was really funny. No, but, but you um, know what? Gordon Ramsay is a nice man. Mm. He's making money. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I saw him with his daughter, who's now grown up. And she was about 10 or 11 and she was sitting on his lap and you know it was a proud daddy was touching her hair and it was like that not the gordon you see yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, gordon ramsay it's got a good heart but you know shouting and screaming making him a few bob sure. do you blame him happy days oh yeah, if yeah. that's what makes you the money i'd love that yeah, all day long yeah. you? but he's a that man at heart's a good man yeah but he knows if he shouts oh god god you wouldn't watch him if you didn't, would you? Because so many chefs are the same. That's it. We Gordon's love watching him, don't we? Bob, but at heart, he's a nice chap. Yeah. Do you know what he, oh, do you know what he did? I've got to tell you. Oh, God, <laughs> do you know what he did? I used to, uh, I was with an agent who was employing Kirsty Allsop. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Who was unbearable. <laughs> <laughs> she comes from an extremely good family. Oh, God, she comes, no, 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 her husband, her father's a lord. Okay. Oh, here we go. She comes from an extremely good family mm. and uh, were educated, everything offered on a plate. Mm. Uh, she works on television, although she needs, doesn't need the money, I don't think. Mm. Anyway, that's up to her. I personally find her unbearable. <laughs> I don't like her, what she says in the papers is utterly snobbish. And I think, Ooh. Then I have the joy of working with it in the hotel job. <laughs> A, the joy, sheer and utter joy. And they made her the concierge, the most unsocial. Be she made her the concierge of the hotel. She's the most unsociable person you've ever met in your life. <laughs> I thought, Christ, all that. Phil's lovely. The chappy on the show, Phil. Okay. God, I thought you meant Schofield then. I thought, <laughs> no, God, no. Philip was on the show with me. Yes, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember this. A lovely man. A, a very, I don't know, I mean, bless him, he's a man. He's a lovely man. So we were in this hotel, Hotel GB, and I was the housekeeper and Gordon was the chef. They, you know, yeah. And she was a concierge and Philip was the head waiter and the, they did this all around the hotel. So when I said she was, oh, I mean, I, I've, I've seen her at a couple of things at my agents. We were the son of, oh, God, I don't, I don't, I'm not keen. Yeah. And she was going to be, I thought, well, I, won't, I don't need to bother with her. Yeah, yeah. The She's game concierge. the hotel, you see, in London. Yeah. Anyway, it was a hotel where you say for £95, like they were proving that in those days, this was a nice hotel for 95 in London. Mm -hmm. or, and you wouldn't do it now, but it was nice. That sounds yeah, reasonable, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, I thought it was nice. But anyway, what happened was, she, well, they, got, they got stars to come in, well-known celebrities to come and complain about the room, and you'd go up and, and you'd say, oh, what's wrong with it? And that? Anyway, with that, what was his name? He passed away. He's a lovely man. Oh, David Guest. Oh, oh yes. He was yeah, a yeah. nice man. Yes. A lovelier man. I, I really. And he was staying in the hotel, you see. Um, he was a kind man. He truly mm. was. And he, and he, he's, anyway, he sent for me and he said, um, oh, well, he said, Kim, he said, oh, yes, he said, he said, I can't sleep on these sheets. Right. He said, because they had to make, you know, to make the show good. I said, what's wrong with them? Oh, he said, well, they're only 80-20. He said, I, I, I've got to see 100% cotton. <laughs> it was right, he had to do you know. Yeah, got to do it for the show. So, I, well, I mean, we were, we were at 95 the night. They were nice sheets, mm. but I mean, you know. So I said, well, we haven't got any others, love. We haven't mm. got them. Yeah, yeah. I said, would you, uh, you know, oh, not happy. But he was just putting it on, a lovely man. I come downstairs and, and Gordon's on the till and there's a few of us around the till and, and this, that and the other. And Kirsty comes forward. I thought, oh, don't, don't do it. Not with him. <laughs> anyway, she said, she said, this is exactly what, you know, she said, what seems to be the problem? <laughs> I thought, oh, the trumpet of doom over your shoulder. So I said, well, as a matter of fact, I said, <laughs> I've been up to Mr. Guest's room and he's complaining he wants 100% cotton sheets. Uh, he really does. He doesn't want to sleep on the 80 20s. And um, I said, so I have to, that's all we have. And that they're, that, you know, she pips up and Gordon and I'm just looking at her. I thought, if it's not me, it's going to be him. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up while you're ahead, Kirsty. Shut up while you're ahead. <laughs> she said, she said, well, she said, I think, she said, we should get him other sheets. We can go to another hotel. She said, wherever I stay, I thought, oh, don't make it worse. <laughs> she 
She says, wherever I stay, she said, I have a thousand cotton sheets. I said, go on, Dad. She said, whether this went out, but he said it. He said, excuse me, I don't like to swear, but excuse me. I, 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 this is what he said. It's Gordon. Pretend it's Gordon. He said, fucking thousand cotton sheets, he said. The fucking place is 95 pound a night, you silly bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and she went, <laughs> he said, are you fucking mad? Yeah. So, so she just looked at oh, me. Oh. He disappeared around the corner. Now, did you ever hear snobbery like it? And he, she just went around the corner. He said, and Gordon said, silly cow. You know, yeah, but yeah. that's what, but don't you think that was foolish? Yeah, yeah. Um, a thousand cough, you wouldn't get them in the bloody ribs. Oh, and no. And he said, you fucking, he swore. And I thought, oh, God, he's a cow. No, I love that. But I, she was being foolish. Yeah, yeah. She was being extremely stupid, snobbish. Then poor little bit, loads of money. Father of Lord, oh, come down, oh, darling. Yeah. Come it's down. A, I can't bear people I like can't that. know. Do you know what? We, we I know can't be, I can't be. Shows you they're so out of it, aren't they? But that is the thing. It's hard, isn't it? Because you can't, there's nothing to relate to. Yes, but I mean? when, yeah. when we said, you charge mm. £95 a night, you know, in London, it mm. wasn't about, but you're lucky you get sheets at all. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? You know, bare I mean, mattress. But to come, we must try and borrow for something from the hotel. So, I don't call them spit. <laughs> but I thought, well done, Gordon. Oh, well no, I done. love Gordon Ramsay. I think he's great. He is. Do you know what? I've seen him with his wife and Sean. He's a softy. Oh, he's he? making is he? money. Is he? Yeah. He's making and money. And you were with um, Jedward in Big Brother. Do you still catch up with them? Do you still Well, no. Do you know, up? Jedward are a nice pair of boys, but they only need each other, you know? Mm. Um, I've noticed that, They're actually. joined at the hip. They don't need anything else in their life. Yeah. They've got each other. They, they they may as well be joined at the hip. Yeah. They need each other. They have each other. They get joy out of each other. And you saw in the Big Brother has very much together. Mm. Um, strange relationship, but nice boys. <laughs> yeah. I find it strange. Um, but so be it. No, they're they're nice, nice boys, George but they don't spend... need to mix with anybody. You yeah. gather that. Mm. George and I spend a lot of time together, don't we? And people have said in the past that, oh, is it not a bit weird that you spend so much time with your brother? But I think a brotherly relationship's nice, obviously, to a degree. You don't want to... I would do it but do you but... boys go out to different events without each other? Yes. Yeah. Oh, what do you see now? What well, don't you think if you get don't you think some brothers are very, very close? Yes, of some course. Some sisters are very close. Yeah, yeah. And they go out together. Yeah. But they do have the private ties. Mm. But Jed would bless them, and nice boys, mm. they would not do that. Mm. Fine, everything together. Yeah. yeah. And, and yeah, I don't understand it, Blair, but they seem very happy. Yeah, yeah. And um decent lads, spotlessly clean, yeah. uh, kept their place tidy. And uh, what can I say about them? Um yeah. Nice boy, don't need anybody but the two of them. Yeah, yeah. So, good well, luck. George and I introduce each other to like different things, don't we? Like, George loves um, this club called Freedom now in Soho. It's like one of my favourite gay bars. Do you, you love it, doesn't it? It's your like favourite night out. Oh, there's good. poles. There's in, poles in, in the, the middle. In the, in, the, in the club downstairs. George loves it. And he actually pulls more But you're more not girls. gay. No. No. But a club like that, that I've learned, is you do get a lot of straight girls in there because... <laughs> Straight the, girls, the gays the drag them. Do you know? Do you know why you go there? Because it's so nice. The gays. That, you do you know see, what? they're gentlemen. Lovely. They're gentle. I've said this right. If I go out with my friends oh my and we're all we're all straight lads, some of them might have a drink, and then all of a sudden there might be like a fight or something. I've been out with Joe yeah, and his gay friends like numerous times, yeah. and it's never any drama. No, that's what I've said to my agent, who's also gay. I say to Craig, <laughs> do you know what? You can go to a gay club. There's never any trouble. Oh, it's lovely. It's always a good vibe. You know there's never trouble. Mm. But so the gays could teach you something about being gentlemen mm. or ladies. You go to a straight bar. God, there's always something. Oh, it terrible. fills me with panic. I don't think no, I've ever been in a straight club and there's not been a fight or a disagreement or something no, going on. No, you're absolutely right. And it's scary sometimes, you know, but freedom and the, the clubs that we go to, it's very like lovely vibes. Everyone gets on. And I know you're... I will say you're a fan of Queens oh. as well because you worked with the Vivian last year, didn't oh, you? Oh, Vivian's lovely. I, I oh, I worked with them. Um, yeah, oh God, it is, isn't his makeup sensational? Oh. Unreal. I'm not kidding. He looks as if he's had makeup. And the, the impressions as well, because I said to George. Did you see him? Um, um, I saw him do you, which did, is great. Did, but did you see him do? Um, oh God, a, a Trump. Yes. He was on the show with me doing Trump. Yeah, you know? yeah. Do you know what he was like, Donald Trump? No, he, he's amazing. Hair. Now look here, now I like it, like here. <laughs> he, he just sworn to 
God, it was Donald Trump. George does. Look here, Kim. Look here, Kim. Oh, it was wonderful. Wasn't yeah, it? no, George does a great. George does so such good accents, don't you? Like George is really, really good with impressions. And I said, if we had the Vivian on, I'd just love to get them to bounce off each other. Do you know I, mean? I don't know about impressions. Way. I can do. I kind of can do accents. No, you you can do yeah. accents, which is borderline impressions. George has like Welsh, Scottish, South African, Australian. He's great. He's a talented boy. I don't know why he's singing. But he's George. on the. He's now on, isn't he? The Vivian. He's on the skating show. Yeah, on Dance on Ice. We'll see him next week. Yeah, yeah. We'll see him next week. I'm excited for that. Are you? Yeah. Oh, of course. He's lovely. He's a lovely chap. Yeah, yeah. He's a lovely, I lovely man. I went to DragCon last week, so I saw all the Queen. Do you know Bag of Chips? Oh, yes, I do. I love he's Bagger. He's moved to Birmingham, hasn't he? I, I don't know where Bagger is. I think he has. Yeah, he's yeah. moved to Birmingham. I love Bagger. And all the, all the Queens, to be honest, are great. Would you ever do... Drag race is like a guest judge because I can see that. Do you know what? I'll tell you something. I'm going to. Craig, note it down. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't drop a stronger hint. I need work. <laughs> yeah. Can I tell you something? Yeah. I love gay men. I love, I've <laughs> always loved them. And you know, my friends are I'm going, I'm going, I've got two gay friends we're going out with on Sunday with my husband. Oh, God. They've run a dress shop in Leek. It's called Mosaic. Oh, obsessed. When you go Already. in, they a glass of wine. Come on, have a glass of wine. Oh, they're lovely. Oh, I love we're seeing them on Sunday. And they asked, everyone's like, why have you never been on that show? Love, I haven't got a clue. I think, do you know what? I've never been asked. They had Charity Shop Sue on there to do like a, a challenge where they put charity close together. And I think to do a runway that's based, they do a runway based on like um, like homeware or like cleaning. Yeah, so you yeah. have to come out in like a maid's outfit and they they sew it themselves. A new judge would just be like proper British I've telly. Love, I've never been asked it. Oh, do you know what? We're pitching it to, to BBC One right now. Obviously, there's a new series of Love Island coming up what, what do you think about it and stuff are you a fan of love island do i you... watch it because yeah. um i part of young men's bodies and you know i mean come on i'm a human yeah yeah <laughs> and the old man sitting there scratching in his belly do you know i watch something now i love my husband um <laughs> no I, I watch love island i certainly do um oh, i love I, that i do no i of course i watch it my husband yeah. watches it when his eyeballs are hanging out in stores oh i bet they are <laughs> he's 77 in the last night last night and god love him um i think we could do nice boys, don't we? But I think the six I saw last night, nice boys, mm. but some of them could have been better looking. Like so, them. Joe, do you want to get up your phone? And uh, no, walk I'm not being funny. What I wanted to do. Some of them, the nice boys, but I think if you are auditioning hundreds and hundreds of boys and girls, my love, we better see something really good. And I don't know why we did. Because last night, nice enough boys, don't. But to say core... Well, I'm 80 and I wouldn't go with one of them. And I'm 80, I'd turn them down. <laughs> if an 80-year-old doesn't fancy them, there's no hope for anybody, well, is there? Kim, that brings me on. Um, no, I'm being truthful. We, no, 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 I love it. And that's what brings we us on to this segment. We want to see cool, don't we? We want to <laughs> what, are you, what are you looking for in a man, then? If, if, if you were, got if, a pulse. No, if, <laughs> <laughs> so if you were standing there... And there could be someone to walk in. Would you want chiselled? Would you want... No, I mean, th th Long I, hair, I don't short expect hair. to find a man, um, when I married my husband, a big muscular beast. I'm like, you marry, you love somebody. Yeah. But if you're doing a show, Love Island, when you are saying these people are flaming gorgeous, the girls, the boys, it's Love Island. We're picking the best. Well, I fell down last night. <laughs> Would you, if, if George night. came out on Love Island, do you think you'd, would you choose him? Well, you're very handsome, aren't you? Thank you. You're a very handsome man. And I think you're quite, I think you've got quite a big chest, haven't you? I, I work out, yeah. Yeah, you know, I can see, but uh, I can see that. Here. And I think that you're, you're a good looking man, you see. So I think, guess you'd be good on Love Island, get your old tan on. So the body's there, isn't it? I'm working on it, I'm working on it. I do need to, maybe a bit of fake tan. I'm getting a bit pale because it's weather. But yeah, I'll be all right. Oh, there's a lot of sexual tension here. I think we'll move on. <laughs> what, we wanted to, uh, what we wanted to do, I wanted to, um, I know you've obviously watched it already, but I wanted to play you each of the uh, the gentlemen on Love Island this year, their, their intro. What's it called? The intro yeah. to them. And then yeah, you let me know what you'd rate them out of 10. Any first opinions from them? So we're going to start with Harris. He's the one that sells the telly, so I'll turn this up. Oh, bless him. Um, and we'll start this off. Well, on the TVs. Oh, my lovely. TV Once again, a nice looking young man. I'm not suggesting for one moment in a body, but um, can I just say facially, mm. he's quite a plain young man. He's very um, look, but he's boyish, quite plain. I think. He looks like he's still at school. Have you heard the. So he last night went into the villa um, and said oh, he. 
has never been in a relationship. He'd love to. No, he said he's never taken them home. But he's got a girlfriend. This one. No, wait a minute. He's not the one who said he's never taken them home, is he? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he is. And he's, he's, yeah, he looks different in oh, this stuff. Yeah. But let me tell you something. Once again, well, he's 21. Well, some boys do grow up slowly sexually, don't they? Yeah. You know they do. You're yeah, only 21, yeah. love. Well, but, I mean, not But to... if you look at his face, my lovely, the body seems a nice chap, but you could not turn around and say that is... A, 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 um, a very good-looking man facially. He's pleasant, but he's not. He's not core. Is he's he? very boyish, isn't he? Well, speaking of which, <laughs> the next the next love under I wanted you to write. Because I think I'm gonna write. Well, to keep your legs up. Nothing's gonna happen, is it? No, go on. We've got we've got Will. You farm the farmer. Well, I'm gonna tell you something about Will. Bless him. Yeah. What a hard-working young man. He seems lovely. Lovely he? body. Good-looking face. Um, he seems very fun, doesn't he? He seems as if he's up, but the trouble he wants a girl in well, he's doing the pigs. I know. Now, some girls want no, for there's nothing wrong with farming. Oh no. But to say, oh, I like you in a pair of wellies. Oh, you know. A lot of girls but, nowadays aren't like that at all. No. But but he is a hardworking boy. He seems it. Yeah. And I think he's respectable. Mm. And if you look at his face, he looks better looking than when you <laughs> But he goes on about the animals a lot, doesn't he? He said when he gets out of bed in the morning. And he, he, he and he walks across it and he sees the pigs looking at him. He get he thinks, oh, lovely. Mm. Now I'm not trying to be funny, but if you're his wife, I pull you off a bit. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm, no, no. <laughs> I look at the back of the car. I love my thoughts return to you. You know, you know what I mean. <laughs> I think he's a farmer's lad to the degree of annoyance. Yeah. But okay, so you think it might uh, be a nice young man. Sweet. Do you know what I mean? Well, he can't see his, the only joy he gets is going and seeing the pigs first thing in the morning because he said his wife's lying there. Exactly. What's he doing Unless to her? going to go shag the sheep. Do you know what I mean? Well, he might do, do. No, but I think he's a very nice young man, <laughs> but I think he's a farming lad. Yeah, And yeah. I think he's forgotten how to be romantic, dear. Fine. He feels romantic when he sticks his hand up a cow's ass, dear. Yeah. So that's not the right way to go about <gasps> it, dear. I think he's forgotten romance, dear. This Fine. is not Anne, this is females. Yeah, yeah. I think he's a nice lad, but... No, Fine, know. so we've got Shaq next. He's the airport guy, isn't he? Ooh, why aren't you playing? They've got some security. Well, I'm not keen on the hairstyle. Fuck, do you know what I did think? I did think he had about three different hairstyles in one, didn't he? He had a shape-up box, then he had a uh, braided, and then it puffed up at the back. I thought, do you know what? Like, there was a lot going on, wasn't there? Be being a bit greedy with a haircut like that, isn't he? Uh, to me, he's typical of many men... Uh, looks after himself, spotlessly clean, a thousand different hairstyles a week. Why is a bit childish to me? Women, yes, men, no. Yeah. I can understand he might want to, but you can say he's got plaits one day, this the next, that the next. Um, I think he's a bit full of himself, actually. The appearance Fine. goes overboard. Right. And he's more or less saying, how do I look? You know. <laughs> What's this one called? No, I don't, this... I, I, be handsome, but don't be silly. What be do you think of Kai? Because all the girls loved Kai. So what do you think of him? Because he had about three girls after him, didn't he, at once? Well, see, I didn't understand that. They loved him, didn't they? Well, he got two, then she walked yeah. off, then he got the third. Now, I'm not understanding why, dear. And he's got nice they... teeth, I think. He's got lovely... Well, you can't go out with a set of teeth, can you? Lovely set, I know, true. I think he's a fairly... I think because he's tall, they thought big. I think he's tall, nice figure, mm. uh, hair nice and neat, but he's all teeth. I don't think he's particularly good looking. I think he's pleasant looking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he's not core. And you can't get up with a set of gnashes, can you? Core. Kai, you're not core. <laughs> no, like, you know, just an no. ordinary plainish man, well kept. See, well, this is what I'm saying at 80. And if I don't fancy, there's no We've got, the <laughs> next up is Ron, who I, I mean, personally, the name Ron, I oh, think. Oh, bless him. What's this? Look at him. Oh, do you know? I have sympathy. I quite like Ron. Ron's, no, Ron's I'm like going to tell you why. I'm blind to one eye and so is he. Mm. Now, I'm blind in the same eye as he is. Right. Now, he's got a... But well, I haven't got... Plus, he's got a blue and a brown eye, would you? But I think he's a nice show man. No, he yeah, don't... Yeah. I, I think he'll go think, far. I think Ron will go far. I think he's masculine. He's pleasant looking. I think he's a he's, bit old he's, school. He's good looking in a masculine got way. nice hair as well, isn't he? Like I that like kind of that nice cup. hair. I think he's overcome. He's, he's, he's a blind in one eye, which is quite an obstacle. I know, but I'm the same. But I just think he's... Yeah. I think he's trying to be in with the boys, but I think he's nice. Yeah, I think so he's, he's a nice. nice. He's a good egg. Oh, Ron. I think he's nice. Oh, we've also got the new guy that came in at the end called Tom, and he's a footballer, six isn't he? Foot so five. he came in at the end from Barnsley. Six, six foot five. Six foot five. Six foot five. That man does not when look six see, foot five. He's six foot five. When you see, 
I'll tell you what puts me off. Right. If he has any more Botox in his face. Very boxy. I thought that he had a, a lot his going on. His whole face yeah. is pumped up to get rid of the... Well, he won't have, But his whole face, like, he's like a big balloon. Can I just say this balloon, series? You know, <laughs> and Kim, I wonder if you noticed this. Either that or he's ill. I must say, a lot of the guys on this series, I don't know if anyone back me up here, the eyebrows. Oh, I can't deal with it. The, uh, see, look, I, I put a bit of gel in mine. I, I put them, yes. you know what I mean? But at least mine are a bit thick. They are yes. so thin and threaded. Yes. These don't guys like have got like... Man. Don't like it on And I, you can tell they try and look rugged and then they've got these like... Mm. I mean, I love Katie Price, but Katie Price style, you know, Jordan eyebrows back in the day and I can't believe it. It's yeah. crazy. But I think that young man who's blind about it, he's a very nice chap, that chap. Ron, you know what? Given that, you know, the name's a bit, I mean, close to home for us, but the name is, uh, the name's a bit old school, but we do like Ron. We do like Ron. Yeah, there's something, there's something, he's, he's wholesome, isn't he? Yeah. And I feel he, like yeah. he's a bit old school. He's from Essex and stuff. I feel like he'll have that kind of background we've had. Do you know yeah. what I mean? And he just I seems, agree. he just seems a down to earth. He looks, he's got a man's face and man's eyebrows and man's hair. Or do me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you? I think, I, think I, no, I tell you what I wish, I do. Now, I'll ring you later. Okay. Oh, I'll you take my that. number afterwards. We'll keep in I touch. I feel that you need to have a night with me. Because I feel <laughs> I could do you the world of good, dear. You would die with a smile on your face. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I'm, I'm gonna, jealous. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be, I'd be quite happy to. No. <laughs> we need to talk about your dicky dido, dear. Okay. Because there's something wrong in the down below's, dear. You've had it from everyone on this Fuck pod. <laughs> we, need that, we need a wash nut bowl and a pound of starch. <laughs> but we need something. He could soak it, couldn't he? But there's something going on. Your down below's aren't down below. You know, on that Trust note, in my on, face. It could suddenly rise and upset on, me. No. <laughs> on that note, on that note, what I want to do but today is... But he's a handsome young man. He is a handsome young man. But nothing rises. No, it will. And it will. And it will. <laughs> Shocking advert you are, aren't you? I'm trying Kim. to get your girlfriend here. <laughs> The, the Queen of Clean, thank you so much for today and for coming on. Get her a massage while they do. Oh, what? <laughs> that, no, no, now, now. I believe they use two hands and it's, oh, cha, cha. If you don't do something then, you need to see the doctor. That's what I can say. Right. Get massage into the massage, girl. Is. Massage She'll massage is. your um, bits until you're raw, dear. Go on. The- <laughs> Thank you so much for today. You've been an absolute gem. I love oh, having you, you on. You know what? On a serious note. I've had a smashing time. Oh, I'm oh, so glad. You. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're nice boys. I, I'm worried about the rising of the sun here. But, <laughs> yeah. but you, you can have, spend a night with me. Don't tell the husband, for God's sake. No. <laughs> Fine. Well, when I, when I originally spoke about this podcast idea, you were in my top top names I'd love on. So it's oh, been yes. amazing Mommy having you. Better, oh, yeah. you were, you were. So thank you. Thank you for today. <laughs> we got that together. And um, yeah, no, obviously very much appreciate your time. And um, No, but thank you so much for asking me. And, you know, do you know, this is what I said earlier. I said, in the business, when I was 61, all the, you know, all those years ago, and here I am sitting here now with two young men chatting away about my career, and I'm 80 now. How long has it going on oh, for? Really? <laughs> you, you are a legend. You're gone, gone forever. Yeah, You're gone, gone forever, honestly. For Take me up on the offer. <laughs> <laughs> well, find me very Guys, if you have enjoyed today's podcast, please leave us a five star rating on Spotify. You can watch us on Apple Podcasts or YouTube. Check us out on YouTube. Make sure to like and subscribe on the Not My Bag channel. And thank you to our guest today, Kim Woodburn. And we will see you next week with another special guest. But thank you so much. See you later. I'll see you next week. Thank you, thank you, thank you.